Ok, the service pack 1 has been installed on node 1. Now we need to set the possible owners for the SQL Server cluster. Right click on the SQL Server cluster network name. Click properties. Go to the advanced policies tab. Select the node 1. Now, now the node 1 is available for failover. Okay. Now move the services. Currently the SQL Server cluster, the owner of, owner of the cluster is node 2. Okay, so we install service pack 1 on node 1. Now we can move the services to the node 1. Now we are manually failing over the services from node 2 to node 1. Okay, the SQL Server database engine has been started on node 1. Now SQL Server agent is about to start. Okay, now everything is uh, failed over to node 1. Okay, now we have installed service pack 1 on node 2 and node 1. We can go to the management studio and see the product version number, product level, all those things to make sure that we have updated the SQL Server to Service Pack 1. Click new query. Now the node 1 is processing, node 1 is active now, that is fine. Now we will verify what is the product version. Okay. 
now it is uh, 10.0.2531 the rtm version is uh, 10.0.1600.22 and this is service pack 1 so we have successfully installed service pack 1 on node 1 let us verify on node 2 now manually fail over the services onto the node 2 okay now all the resources in the resource group sql Server resource group are being served by node 2 now let us check the server property for the node 2 okay it says node 2 is active and this is the version number so we are fine we have successfully installed service pack 1 on node 2 okay let us see what we have covered so far we installed service pack 1 on both the nodes now we will install active active basically what the active active cluster is we will have two sql server resource groups and one resource group one node will be active and another resource group another node will be active okay multi node instance that is the active active currently what we install so far is active passive so if we do the same thing if you do again if we install one more sql server cluster and make one node as active another node as passive then that that is active active okay let's start installing active active cluster Now we have the SQL Server resource group and node 2 is active and node 1 is passive. Okay. Let us install the SQL Server failover cluster. I'm going to install the SQL Server installation again for the active active. Click installation, click new SQL Server failover cluster installation. We will close out the management studio. We don't need this for now. Click OK.
okay everything seems to be fine click next 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 we will install database engine and uh, that's pretty much it we already have the management studio so that is why it is grayed out click next oh by the way uh, let us check if we have any um, free storage I'm not sure whether we have any free disk available let's check that okay the cluster disk disk 3 is available so we can install this cluster the second cluster on the disk 3 uh, okay we need to give the new name so the earlier network name it was uh, dev sql clu and now for this i'm going to give dev sql clu 1 okay i cannot select default because already default installation default instance of sql server is running on one cluster so i have to select the new instance so I'll give different name for that by default instance ID will take from named instance if you want you can change that click next click next this is the resource group name and if you want we can change that that is fine I'm just going to leave as it is click next It says the cluster disk 3 is available rest of the disk, disks are uh, allocated so which is fine click next not DHCP static IP address I think for failover cluster we have assigned one IP address yeah for active active we reserved 118 so let's use 118 okay click next next here I will select uh, cluster administrator the domain admin meta manager this is the domain and CLU ADM this is the domain user which has a domain admin access I'm going to use this account for all the services if we want we can change that typically uh, agent should be using different account than engine because agent need more access than engine engine should not have too many access otherwise it would be a problem but for this demo purpose um, I used both so that is fine add current user if we want we can change the data directories
yep that's pretty much it click install it will install new failover cluster like this okay uh, it will take some time what I will do I will uh, pause the video here and I will uh, I'll be back after the installation